friends in next two lessons we will cover about present tense you uh, might have uh, studied in the uh, lesson 10 that russian verbs change their endings depending upon the subject and unlike english there are no separate tenses means present indefinite is separate present continuous is separate no it is present simple both way i work i am working i do work all of them are translated as single one sentence that is i work in russian also okay we'll proceed with that but just it is a uh, relief for the learners that they will have they will not have to learn two tenses separately present indefinite present continuous so that way it is a simple one i work i am working i do work is same because in russian there are no helping verbs and they try to make the sense by stress of the words by understanding the just uh, stress level at what level it has been given even even in uh, interrogatives also they are not bringing helping verb in the beginning reason being there are there are no helping verbs so that way it is uh, uh, not that much difficult to understand and here one more thing like hindi in hindi also we are changing the tail of the verb according to subject may be singular plural main jata hu jata hu vah jati hai ve jate hain like this means the subject according to the subject ram jata hai geeta jati hai like this wo log padhte hain means subject is one maybe it is noun or pronoun and according to that subject whether it is singular or plural it is uh, means masculine or feminine it depends upon that and tail of the verb changes according to that before going through this lesson i'll request you to go through lesson 10 once again it is almost repetition of that lesson but definitely it is required at this stage also because after the present tense will be covering past tense future tense so there will be one sequence so i have tried to cover here also uh, this part and you see there are two conjunctions first conjunction and the second conjunction and you will find that most of the verbs they they are either in first conjunction or with second conjunction barring a few of them which are always exceptions and you will see these some of the words end with t t small t t and thereafter a symbol of small b it is it is like soft t t rabotit rabotit so this b is not b in russian it is soft soft letter which say that you should speak the word softly it is not robotat no robotat 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 that t is very last t is very soft and of course spelling wise it is t but definitely it is spoken as t so main verb main verb say robotat 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 this word we will see how it changes according to the subject how it changes because there are uh, i i told you here al uh, also it has been grouped in six parts means when it is first person i i so i with i it will be converted to you with i it will be converted to you like this ya rabata you ya rabata you i work i work ya is for i rabota means last figure last t and b signal soft sign they convert to u a u u is a signal a single so this part uh, in russian you will see this last after t rabota u 
after T A that is a uh, symbol uh, alphabet which shows ya uh, you uh, you ya rabat rabota you ya rabota you so every every subject uh, uh, every sentence in present tense where there is first person ya singular then it will be you in the end ya rabota you ya rabota you means i work or i am working it is same second is t t is informal you i told you in the beginning that there are formal as well as informal you so t is informal you where you you say t like in india in hindi we say tum it is for our friends our uh, colleagues who are uh, at our level or our younger ones or the people with whom we are very very informal so t where t comes means you you uh, it comes informal you work so it comes t rabo taish t rabo taish rabo taish it is not uh, like uh, i rabo ta you no when t formal t comes means t u means in uh, sorry informal u comes it is uh, written as t t rabo taish t rabo taish it means you work you see rabotet is the main verb to work and from this that tail of the main verb is changing according to subject ya rabotayu i work t rabotaish it is you work then he she it he she it so all these three they will take et in the end it so it will be on ana anu on ana anu he she it when it is work he works she works or it works so it changes as rabotait 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 ana rabotait on rabotait ano rabotait so it is he she it on ana ano rabotait so this part is rabotait so singular third person he she uh, in pronoun we take so it is singular rabotait then when it is coming to plural me me means we hum me rabotayam we work here it ends with m e m m so you can link it where me is there in the end m is there so two m's are there so it will make uh, the thing simpler to understand me rabotayam where me is there in the end verb ending is also with m me rabotayam means we work or we are working it is the same then we we is it is formal we we rabotayate we rabotayate means where it is uh, this uh, formal formal you which we speak to our elders to our senior colleagues or our um, such friends whom we want to give uh, more respect or acquaintances or outside market we go we talk to any person we cannot say tu or tum to a person definitely we'll say with regard it is always we so we rabotayate we rabotayate rabotayate means you work or you are working we rabotayate so see the difference when it is uh, formal you then t rabotaish and with, uh, informal you when it is informal you it is t rabotaish and when it is formal you it is we rabotayate see the difference between the two that we see to our tell to our youngers informal or our uh, friends of our age or maybe with whom we are free so t rabotaish you work but where in the uh, uh, where we are uh, we are expressing only a formal way of uh, asking and telling then we rabotayate you work and then plural that was singular on ana ano here it is plural they they work ani rabotayut ani rabo 
tayut. So in this way, you say, see the tail of the verb changes according to the subject, and it is with I first person. It is uh, in the end it comes you with informal U T. It comes ish, and with with third person on ana singular, it will come uh, like it. In the end, it will come it, and with uh, plural uh, of uh, first person plural me means means we. So it will be rabotayam. It will end with m, and with formal u, it will be ete. So it will be v rabotayete, and with plural third person ani ani means they they work. It will be ani rabotayut. So in this way. the tail of the verb changes as per subject to make the present tense these are only introductive simple lessons when we will cover the negative when we will cover the interrogative part of this sentence formation then you will say see a little changes but in case we understand the basics of sentence forming i think there will not be any mistake in understanding all this